You're listening to HowStreet.com Radio, available online at TalkDigitalNetwork.com. Welcome to HowStreet.com Radio, the online source for market opinions. Here is Jim Goddard. My guest is David Gerwitz, Managing Director of the Charles Nenner Research Center. Welcome to the show, David. Hi, how are you doing on this fun days in the markets? No fooling. I understand that you're going kind of a little crazy, and okay. I think that reflects what's happening in reality. Um, well, like we say, we like to think the the market, and I guess your listeners know, the market is the market, and what goes on in the world is uh, not changing cycles. Well, so, David, this seems to me to be one of the busiest Julys ever. Yeah. A- and that's not normal, or was that anticipated? I know a bunch of people that cancel their vacation, so I guess... <laughs> <laughs> it's just your question, but it's pretty busy. You know, we think, let me just give you the, I know you got, everyone's crazy and I'm crazy, so let me tell you what we see with the different things in the market, but we think stocks, we call this move up, and uh, we think they're going to turn down soon overall into the end of the summer and then kind of a rally towards the end of the year. And that's something that a lot of people hadn't expected but you're saying take a look at the natural cycles. That's exactly what's going to happen. Yes, yes. Whatever that means, natural cycles. You know, again, the way we do things is we look at many cycles, top to top, in any data series, and then we combine them. And they don't always reflect what the price is for the particular item. And then we eliminate a bunch in order to make it reflect. And the assumption we make is those remaining cycles, whether it's S&P or the euro, which we'll talk about, or crude or anything, will be the ones governing what's going to happen in that asset class. So, David, the S&P, let's start from the top. Mm -hmm. What's going to happen there? We think we're near a top right now, and uh, I'm not going to give levels, I'm just giving timing. And uh, because weeklies are down, dailies been up, and we think we'll see a down move towards the end of I mean, heading toward down towards the end of the of August, middle to end of August, and then getting close to a, a pretty strong place from which to look, to go long till the end of the year. The Dow, the same thing, same thing. Dow, S and P, and Nasdaq, all the same. Europe, uh, we're not sure. Probably similar, we're not sure. Um, bonds, we're still looking to buy. Um, we we thought you know, a week ago that it was going to go in a buy signal and it didn't, but we're still holding by our conviction that bonds will be good to buy. Bond rates will still keep coming down. Let's imagine how much lower they could go, but they keep coming down. Crude, we, you know, call the top at 97 down into the 40s, back up for another 15, 20 bucks. We think it's heading down again into the, you know, crude cycles are down into the mid to high 40s. And then we think that's a pretty good place to be looking for it to go up. And a lot of the crude um, companies are getting a lot of attention from our clients in the market now. Let me actually read what we wrote. Short terms are still down. We're looking to move towards 46. And uh, that's it's, it, it sell signal continues as long as no close above 55.30. Cash. Well, Canadians still in our range. Uh, it's been down. A lot of people are look, are short the yen. Uh, we think there's going to be more yen strength, and we're actually looking at the the, the, the cycles. It's been a very tough trade. Um, so the answer to your question is the dollar. Uh, well, let's let, let's focus on the euro because that seems to be what everybody wants. And according to us, dailies have topped, and the buy signals off. And we don't think the bounce will last, and risk is to the downside. And the first target's 108.90. The old Canadian loony. Like I say, the Canadian we wrote, it reached a target of 127.05 dollar Canadian, and the buy signal, buy signal continues. It's been sideways, according to us, and um, we're not uh, saying any more than that. When you take a look at the European equity markets, is Germany a good place to go? Um, according to what we wrote, um, just hold on one second, what we wrote last week, you know, the, the levels are holding and we're still seeing a bounce, but there's so much volatility that it's not such an easy trade to, uh, 
to do, and that's the question. Your listeners are where mostly out west. Well, uh, we're worldwide on the web, but I would imagine we get more people in the west. Yeah. So I don't know how many Americans are trading Europe. I mean, that's the question I have for you. What do you think uh, they're doing in that regard? They're staying in North America. Right. I think so. So because we wrote on uh, Monday, cycles are not inviting us to be very positive on the Europe, even though we expect a bounce, and the sell signal's not canceled. So we need closes above a certain level to sell, cancel the sell signal. We write for short-term traders, medium-term traders, and longer, long-term traders. So it's not so easy for those who are in one camp to be thinking the other way, but we have to give that information. So we give levels, very important that people know, you know, the short-term buy signal in the European would only be triggered on a close above DAX 11,006, the FTSE 67, AEX 47. To those that mean something, it means something. To those not, not. But it's, so it's range-bound. Well, I, I think nowadays, though, people do scan the world for the, the best deals and the best places to go because it's so interconnected. Correct. Especially, you know, Sunday night, we send out the report that your listeners are welcome to sample. Sunday night at 6 is the it's the morning in the Far East, and that's when things start. And it flows through all sorts of things, currency, commodity, um, stocks and bonds, some money will change hands within an hour to all those four creatures. So, uh, and in, in effect, a trade in equities and a trade in currencies is the same trade very often, it's just being reflected in a different way. We'll have more with David Gerwitz right after this. More and more people are looking to the Internet for intelligent, riveting, and thought-provoking interviews. To advertise on the Goddard Report and TalkDigitalNetwork.com, call 604-699-8600, 604-699-8600. Welcome back. We're speaking with David Gerwitz, Managing Director of the Charles Nanner Research Center. David, what's the projection for gold and silver? Um, the sell signal in gold continues. We, st- we expect to see 1143, but there's a bottom around July 20th, and silver is a low couple of days before there. We still think towards the heading towards the end of the year, they're both going to go up and get to some levels that are kind of important. And if they get past, they will continue up. And if not, there could be substantial moves down, but I recommend your listeners write in and follow it. I don't want to give it all out now because it's not so simple to, and I think they'll enjoy seeing it. Any thoughts on base metals? Um, platinum, palladium, that type of stuff? Sure. Anything sure. that's uh, hard and comes out of the ground. <laughs> um, we covered this actually on Sunday, and I'll just say that, and then i got to go. So platinum, short term, close to a low, close above 1060 is needed for a short term buy signal, but a better low is in a few months. That's for platinum. And palladium, also weekly, is close to a low, close above 700 needed for a buy signal. David, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule for us. I appreciate you, and I appreciate that you appreciate how crazy it gets sometimes. <laughs> That's what keeps us all in business. Absolutely. Okay, thank, thank you, you again. so much. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye bye. My guest has been David Gerwitz, Managing Director of the Charles Nenner Research Center, their website, charlesnenner.com. You're listening to the HowStreet.com radio show. Find us on Twitter at TalkDigitalNet. Our YouTube channel is Talk Digital Network. Comments about the show can be sent to info at HowStreet.com. I'm Jim Goddard. Comments made on HowStreet.com radio are an expression of opinion only and should not be construed in any matter whatsoever as recommendations to buy or sell any financial instrument at any time. Available online at TalkDigitalNetwork.com, HowStreet.com radio is a production of HowStreet Media Incorporated.